What's up YouTube? It's your girl Marie Simonis and I am back with another video. For those of you that don't know, I am a lash tech. So in this video, I just really want to touch base on that and like give y'all the pros, a little bit of the cons of becoming one. The reason I became a lash tech was because at the time I was in between jobs. Um, I was getting ready to leave one job to go to another job. And um, I'm like, okay, well, I got a little bit of time to take a class and learn something new. And um, I remember, like, I spent my last little check. <laughs> my last little check was, like, $700. And I used that entire check on a class, and the class was $600. So I had $100 left to my name at the time. I didn't know where my next dollar was coming from. And, um, boom, so I took the class, and then I think, like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. As soon as I took the class, I was charging people, but I was only charging, like, $40, $45 a set, and I made that money back the next week. So I'm really thankful for the friends and family that I had at the time that let me <laughs> practice on them and they actually paid because I ain't gonna lie I was not the best I thought I was great like damn I'm so weak for me to just be starting out but no if you go look at my pictures on my page you will see you will see so shout out to the people that trusted me <laughs> y'all some real ones y'all crazy I love y'all for that anyways I'm here to tell y'all about the pros right so let's get into it. number one you, yes, you can set your own freaking hours. Can you do that at your job? Is your job that flexible to the point where you can just work whatever hours you want to work? If you want to take one client today, do that. If you want to take one client the next day, do that. If you want to work nine to five Saturday and Sunday or whatever. You can do that, you can set your own freaking hours and I think that is so great. Two, you can work from your home. But when I first started, I was um I was really traveling and um, I realized that people love that. They love when you come to your come come to their house and they are you know relaxing in their own home, no distractions, no nothing. Um yeah, they love that. So that's really how I got Oh, that's really how I built my clientele from traveling instead of having people come to my house. And on top of that, I was living with my mom at the time, and she didn't really like people coming over like that. So, uh, yeah, you can work from home. <laughs> I know I just got beside the point, but you can definitely work from home. And that's what I do now. Three, the money is great. I can't lie, like, I would disclose. <laughs> How much money I've made in the past three years and it's a ton of freaking money like more money than I've made working at the airport you know so um yeah when I first started out I was booked up like crazy um I service a lot of people a lot of people and I tell people this because on my last page I don't have a lot of followers I have about 500 followers. I don't get a lot of likes on my stuff. I don't get a lot of comments on my stuff. But none of that matters. And it took for me to be an entrepreneur, to run my own business, to realize that, you know? That shit don't matter as long as you booked up. You know, like I said before, I made that $600 back in a week. But I had to work a lot because I was only charging $40, $45. Now I charge $75, dollars okay? So, you know, you do the math. If I'm doing three, four people a day, I'm straight for the week, you know? But enough of the money, though. Um, the next reason you should become a last check is because building relationships with your clients is probably the best thing ever. You build real relationships you build real friendships and um they become loyal to you so like no matter where you go how far you move um, as 
long as you still the same stay. They gonna come to you, they gonna find a way, you know? And they'll pay whatever, you raise your prices, they'll pay whatever. They will even tell you like, you know, you do a great job, you're you sweet, you know? Don't downplay yourself, like they really motivate you too. And um, your whole uh, <laughs> service can be like a therapy session. Me and my clients, we talk about anything together. We laugh together, we damn near cry together. And I just love that, um, you know, I meet so many genuine women, um, so many inspiring women. <sighs> it's crazy. And I remember I met this one lady. She was like a real big deal at one of these, uh, I want to say it was like Ford or something. And she was like, you know, if you ever need a job, if Delta doesn't work out, call me and I got you. And, uh, <laughs> and maybe I ain't ready for that blunt life. So I never called her. But that offer's on the floor. So you find people that want to help you too. Oh, oh, and I forgot to mention. I see this wig right here. I got this made for free. You want to know why? Because I do lashes. So me and, you know, she my homegirl and I. We built this relationship over me doing her lashes. She does hair. I do lashes. We traded services. So you know, say you want my money, but you want your hair done. One of your clients gonna do hair. One of your clients gonna do nails. The other one gonna do makeup. Like that's why I love building relationships with my clients. You find out more about them. They find out more about you. You trust each other. Boom. Wig for free. The hair wasn't included, but that's another freaking pro. You cannot beat that. So I will say one thing. If you don't have patience, this <laughs> is not the dang on profession for you. Patience plays a big part in being a lash tech. Like you're literally sitting with your client for two whole hours doing tedious work. You know, let me show y'all. Like, look how small these lashes are. So if you're picking them up, these are volumes. But if you're picking them up one by one and you put them, put, put them on a client with a lot of lashes, child, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Sometimes you might run into people who who give you trouble. So you might get a client that drank coffee before she came to you. So now her eyes just twitching and stuff. So that can slow you down. Um, you're dealing with clients who try to get off on you, you know? Some people are like, oh, my lash is falling off, da 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 Okay, well, what did you do for your lashes to fall off? You know, did you clean them? Some people don't want to clean their lashes. They think once they own, they just own and you don't have to take care of them. No, you have to take care of your lashes, sweetheart. Some clients don't believe in giving you mental health days, you know? Um, when you raise your prices, some clients be like, girl, but I can go to somebody else cheaper. Okay, go do that. <laughs> go do that some people will give you a hard freaking time they will try to blame everything on you when all they might have to do is clean their lashes you know um if you aren't the best at being organized probably not but if you can if you're not stuck in your ways you can do it I promise you well ladies and whoever else is watching that is all i have for today um, I hope I helped you make your decision on becoming a lash tech or not. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave a comment down below. And I'll definitely answer whatever. Um, so make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this video. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all when I see y'all.